kind of want to show one of the main reasons why I bought my Model X. I because I think personally I haven't used it enough to some extent to do the thing that I really bought it for, which is off-roading. Suspension on very low right now. Let's go measure it with my handy tape measure. Let's go see what the height is now. I'm also giving my car a brand new wrap, as you can see right here. Uh, it look, actually looks really nice. It's camouflaged, it kind of like gradually seeps into the white. Pretty cool. But let's go see what the height is. On very low, I have 18 centimeters of ground clearance in the front. Let's go see what's in the back. It's about 17 centimeters as well. So overall, on very low, it is 17 centimeters of ground clearance. I'll put the inches up right here. Now let's go put it up in high, very high. Let's see what the ground clearance is then. <laughs> Whether that was intentional or not, I get that a lot actually. People rolling coal with their trucks. Don't take it personally. That probably cost them like three bucks just to do that on gas. So very high, I have a solid nine and a half inches of ground clearance. So about 10 inches. That is awesome because essentially on the highway, I get highway efficiency and I, when I wanna go off-roading, like right now, I get the off-road height, which is what I want. Cause the last thing what you really want with an electric car is to actually scrape the bottom because if you scrape the bottom, you could total the car if you damage the battery. But let's go and do some off-roading before we go camp out somewhere. Oh, that's my bumper. Do it like this, I should be okay. Looking good. Okay. Good. Nice. Yes. Sweet. Okay. I'm like shaking right now. But that was part one. Uh, not too bad up here. But I'm trying to make my way down to this like little overlook. I don't have any data. I downloaded my Google Maps offline, but ended up deleting it accidentally. So I'm kind of guessing how far it is from from what I projected in my uh, in my head. Little roadblock on the road. Oh, jeez. Okay. Roadblock. Today we're testing boundaries.
So that was a lot of fun off-roading today. Seriously though. I can't really decide whether I want to cook first or make a fire. I can never really decide that, but I think making a fire while there's still light out and it's not raining right now, which is pretty shocking. So I've abandoned my fire for now. I'll, we'll get back to that in just a second. Right now, I'm gonna start cooking. So we're gonna make on the menu, it's a pizza baked in a pan. Like a deep dish pizza, some way, shape or form. Give it a try. Again, set my expectations low, under promise, over deliver. All right, so let's give that a try. I also have Amy's organic soups, just in case my pizza does not turn out the way I want it to turn out. Sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes or so before I actually like do something with it but I'm forgetful. This took a long time to actually get it like stretched out where it doesn't look like a big ball of nothing, of goo. We have light right here because it got a little bit dark. We're cooking now. Tomato base marinara, black olives, pepper and onion powder look at this baked in a pan it smells so good I'm also super super hungry right now Let's take a bite oh mmm I'm not kidding. This is the best thing I've probably made cooking wise. After a hard day of off-roading, you need to um, replenish, right? There's something about coming out of the city and just being here out in the open. Just, I mean, you guys with me right now, but there's something so peaceful about this, like having a fire, reading a little book. Yeah. Man, it's so good for our souls. So before degrees Celsius right now, we have about 51% state of charge. We're gonna keep climate mode on for tonight. So for those who don't know, within the UI, I have three different settings of climate comfortability. I'm gonna do keep camp mode so camp mode enabled which will essentially the car will stay on until it reaches reaches 20 percent battery sentry mode security alarm and walk away locked will be disabled
always have my weapons, like right here. Pepper spray. And then my flashlight. That's one of my favorite things about having an EV is that I get to use camping mode overnight. And last night it used about 13% to keep me nice and cozy. Even though I didn't sleep well, I was still nice and warm, dry. So grateful for that. I don't have to run a inside heater, a generator to keep myself warm. And this is the same thing applies for the summer. Like if it's really scorching hot outside, I could be nice inside just chilling with my AC. And I want people to realize this potential of having EV, the things that it can do. Like, I brought my Tesla to Alaska. I've driven to every state within the United States, been to a bunch of provinces in Canada, almost made my way to Mexico. Stay tuned, that might still happen. But all I'm trying to say is that, look, you can bring an EV anywhere. They're more than capable. Uh, they're, in my opinion, they're better than gas cars in a lot of different ways. You know, maintenance. Like the only thing that I really do is tire rotation, winter wiper fluids, and windshield wipers, which is insane. Like I don't have to spend time getting my oils changed or running diagnostics at a like car part shop that kind of seems sketchy, but because I need to get service done, they overcharge me like $5,000. None of that, it's just the ease. And yeah, I do think if you're gonna go off-roading with a Tesla, that you need some off-roading all-terrain tires. So the ones I have are the TSS, 19 inch adventure and overlaying a tire package from T Sportline. Link is down below in the description. If you use my code Sandro down below in the description, you get a free tire pump with a purchase of a tire and rim set. I'm Sandro and I've been living on the open road for the last like year or so. I'm kind of all over the place. Um, but if you enjoy my adventures, please subscribe. We're gonna a lot more fun stuff is coming this way. I also launched a Fanatics membership on YouTube. So if you want to be part of that, so for $4.99, you get to support my channel, my adventures. All the money that I make will be put back into the videos. But anyways, keep on bulldozing and I'll see you guys back on Open Road. And stay dry out there, seriously though.